we are now going to uh, double click on sales quantity and on the time dimensions we're going to add calendar year and month and we'll double click calendar year and month basically it's going to show the calendar year and the calendar month on the table um, and we will select October November and December Two thousand and eleven, and click on OK. Now we'll go to the description, and we'll change the description to uh, sales. Sorry, um, sales Q four. 2011 now we'll go to the key figures and drag the sales quantity to columns on the right and we'll double click on sales quantity And we'll also do the same for for sales quantity. We'll drag the calendar year and the calendar month. Double click on calendar year and month. Um, we want to select uh, 2010, October, November, and December. So we'll go to single values October, November, and December. And we'll change the description. We'll change the description to sales. Q4 for the year 2010. Okay. And we'll save our work and execute to see how the table looks like. So here is the table with the sales quantity So now we are going to select the rows and the columns and remove product category from the rows. And we'll go to key figures on the left, left side of, of the screen and select revenue. and drag it to the column section, which is on the right side here. And we'll come here to display.
So on the hide section here, we'll select hide. We'll select revenue again on the columns section. Then go to the conditions tab, which is at the top of the menu. We'll add a new condition. And double click on it. We will rename this condition as top five products. And we'll select new here on the key figures. We'll select revenue. For the operator, we'll select top N. For the values, we'll put five. We'll make the transfer, which is which is the new condition now. And OK. So now we'll save the changes that we made and the condition we just added and execute. So here's the table uh, with the exceptions and now we can see that the conditions have changed the results. So now we're going to click on double, um, we're going to double click on country and we'll remove United States from the chosen selection and add BI curriculum. Select OK. We'll save the changes made and execute. So we'll go to the top right of the screen and select filter and we want to display all filter values. So here it shows the static filters, dynamic filters. Uh, the static filters are the constant ones and the dynamic filters are the ones that, that uh, vary. Uh, so, sorry, the dynamic filters are the ones that can change based on the input and the variable here is the United States. On the currency translation, we need to select the BI curriculum. So what we're going to do is select the rows and columns to do this. Uh, we're going to double click on the C11025. Revenue. and go to conversions
So yeah, this is what we should we should be clicking on the columns, the revenue, and then go to conversions. On the currency translation, we need to select the BI curriculum. Now we're going to save the changes. and execute. So here it shows the general variables that are, that are available. It shows here it's the euro. We're going to click OK. And here's the final table. Uh, thank you for listening and have a good one.